Good morning, everyone. How are we all going this morning? I'm just going to give it a moment and wait for a couple of people to tune in and bring it up on my screen. Bear with me a second. There's a couple of people watching. Good morning to everyone from Adelaide. All right, we're all in focus, which is good. Nice touch. The Wi-Fi is playing nice. Oh, God, I can hear myself. Hang on. No, we're up, down. <laughs> okay, so thank you um, for joining in this morning. I'm going to be doing a little demonstration on how to use Lindy's Magical Shakers and also some of the Lindy's Magical Pots. Um, I... As most of you know, I have been working with Lindy's Gang for quite a few years and work as their Australian uh, ambassador, educator, uh, all-round person, which is really cool. So it's my job to show you all the cool things that you can do with magicals. So what I want to do today is I want to talk a little bit about these awesome products and show you how you can use them um, in your everyday crafting and mixed media projects, etc., and yeah, how you can get hold of them. So, uh, as part of the big craft show this weekend, which the big online event, we uh, Natalie May Scrapbooking, we are doing fifteen percent off all Lindy's Gang products. So yesterday I demonstrated how to use the Lindy sprays, and uh, today I thought I'd show you how to use these guys to create some some fantastic projects. So this is a bit of an example here of my pile of awesomeness um, <laughs> that I have created. So the Lindy's powders are a pigment dye based powder. So what that means, the pigment means it's lovely and full of color. The dye means that it is permanent and the powder means that you need to activate it to get it to do its thing. So you can activate it with water, you can activate it with modeling paste or anything wet to activate it with. You can mix it with hand sanitizer, which is, um, <laughs> if anyone can get it at the moment, um, something that works really well and it works like an, I guess like an alcohol ink. You can use it on lots of different surfaces as well. So it will work on standard white cardstock. It will work on watercolor paper. It'll work on canvas. This is um, canvas, just white gessoed canvas. It'll work on that. It will also work on, um, I'm just turning the comments on, sorry guys. It will also work on tissue paper and anything along those sorts of lines. So it'll work on lots and lots of different surfaces. So I'm going to demonstrate today how to use it on watercolor card plain cardstock and I'll also show you how to use it on just normal like index cards or something along those lines so um, oh look there's lots of people watching how are we all girls um, all right so here are a few different things that I have done and I will go back and talk a little bit about these later so with the magical shakers which are these little guys here there are I think 25 colors in the collection so there's quite a a range of colors something to suit everyone um, there are lots of great combinations that will work when you mix them all together and you can paint with them you can do all sorts so you can see how amazing these backgrounds look if I had a die cut so here is a die cut that I did just using a uh, paper rose die if I was to put that over my background, I've got an instant card front. So you can see how effective that that can be. So no matter what color I use, it'll look amazing if I put it over the top of that. Um, so what else have we got? This particular little card here, I have mixed it with a texture paste, a modeling paste, and then run it through a stencil. So it's colored the, um, the paste. Um, it also works on fabrics. So for those of you who also dabble, you know, what I call a crossover crafter, some of you who do um, fabric painting as well, it is a dye. It's, it's stained the surface. It's dyed it. So 
The sprinkle and spritz technique, which I'll show you in a moment, will also work. But this is just a calico. Um, I don't know a whole lot about fabric, so don't ask me too much. Um, it will work. You can tie dye with it. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. All right, so let's make some pretty things. I have got here some 300 GSM watercolor paper. So this is a nice weighty watercolor paper. Uh, I sell it in, in pads of, I think there's like a pad of 20 or something along those lines. It's quite inexpensive, but it's a really good quality. That is super important. So watercolor paper means it's gonna hold lots of water. What I want to do is I'm going to choose a couple of colors here. So if I choose, I have got Magnolia Magenta Gold and Gutentag Teal. They have the best names. Um, I'm going to shake it up and just fluff it up. They've been sitting on my shelf. The Magical Shakers have got a shaker side and a scoopy side. The scoopy side will enable you to be able to tip it out onto your surface and activate it that way. So the scoopy side is quite a large hole. We are not going to be using that today. I'm just going to use the shaker side. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom up a little bit so you can get a better idea. Whoops, sorry about that. And whoops, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on. So it doesn't look like there's much going on at all. But what I need to do, I've just got a water spray bottle. Uh, I do love these water spray bottles. It's got a trigger on it and it, when it, when you, it's got a lock on it as well. So you travel, it's not going to leak. But um, just normal, fancy Adelaide rainwater, and, which is pretty ordinary at the moment. But I'm just going to activate that powder. And you can see what's happening. You get that awesome colour coming up. That looks pretty spectacular. Um, the Magnolia Magenta Gold, I'm going to add that over the top. So, whoops, wrong side. Always check first. And I'm just going to add a little bit to it. And now I still need to activate that powder. So, the more water you add, the more the pigment is going to come together and you're going to get more of a solid colour. So if I leave it like this, the colour is going to dry with these lovely pops of colour through here. Now what I do love about this is, because magenta is not one of the primary colours, to get magenta, you had they had to mix a whole different range of pigments together. So you start to see all of these really cool elements come out. So there's pops of blue, there's pops of red, there's pops of yellow. Within the uh, Gutentag teal, there's pops of yellow and blue. There's even some magenta in there. So instant, quick, gorgeous background. Here is a really good example of how that looks. So this is a copper. I think it's cowabunga copper. Uh, and you can see to get copper, they had to mix. This is just one color by itself. So this looks spl absolutely splendid. You've got this beautiful burgundy come out and these pops of blue, there's a little bit of green, all of these beautiful colors together to get copper. Instant background, absolutely gorgeous. So there's one, I'm gonna do another one just to show you how amazing that looks. I'm gonna pop that aside. Um, so something about this, because like I mentioned before, it's permanent, you do need to remember that if you lean over the table and dip your boobs in it, it's a permanent addition to your boobs. It's gonna dye your clothing. So you do need to wear an apron. Um, it will wash off of your hands. It's Unless you're performing heart surgery or something like that, it won't actually matter too much. Um, a lady's just asked, is this the Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals? Yes, it is. So there we go. Now, that is Bratwurst Brown, and that's a lot of powder. I have really put that on there. So now, again, I'm just going to activate it. And you can see what's happening. That powder, I'm going to bring that up to the screen. That powder looks pretty amazing. There are a few little bits on here that I haven't activated. So I need to get some more water back on and activate that. Or when it dries, it's just going to brush right off. So as I activate it, all those pigments come together. And you're going to see that true colour of that brown. So this big 
blob here of blue. You didn't see me put any blue on. So what's happened is it's coming out of the brown. So if I was to keep adding brown to it, I will get more of a solid brown. So what makes this different from all of the other products is this one has been around for 20 plus years. Lindy's have done an awesome job with their pigment powders. So I do, um, they're, they're one of the original companies that came out with this and everybody else's, I guess, has tried to replicate it. Um, they are a dye, they stain your paper. So therefore they have a permanency to them meaning I can now paint over the top of this or stamp over the top of this and then paint and it's not going to reactivate. So that has its advantages as well. So that is a gorgeous brown and you can see all of those lovely tones come through. So that's just on watercolour paper. If I'm to use just normal white card, so something along these lines. So this is just a plain white card, something that I would make my cards out of. Um, I want to, I'm actually gonna wet the back of it first. So that's just gonna stop it curling. I can wet the paper and sprinkle and spritz straight onto the paper. This color here is tra time travel teal. So they've got this gorgeous flip top, which is easy to open if you are doing it properly. If I had fingernails that'd be easy to open. Um, so sprinkling a little powder on, it doesn't matter if I add the water first or add the powder first and activate. Gorgeous, look at that bloom, absolutely beautiful. These lumpy bits here, I'm just going to add a little water to those bits just to make sure that I have them all activated. Look at that. So this is so easy for anybody to do. What makes this work really well for me is I'm using a puppy training pad in the background. A puppy training pad soaks up all the excess water and keeps my work surface clean. Um, I love that, or I can add on to it. So if I wanna add another color, I'm gonna add afternoon to light denim. A little trick that I quite often do, I get a white pen and just do a mark on the top of my cap so I know that this is the side that I wanna open every single time. Oh, that's a lot of powder. But if I'm gonna add a second color, I still need to activate it. All right, look at that. So all of the magical shakers have a shimmer to them as well. So they, when this dries, they're all gonna have that lovely shimmery sheen to them. And you can actually see some of this shimmer coming up here. So when that dries, that'll be sitting on the top. Um, plain cardstock, it's soaked it in in certain spots really nicely. Do I have to heat set it? No, I don't have to heat set it. I can pop it aside to dry um, or I can use a heat gun. It won't make much difference. There's no difference to how um, the end looks. It just is um, totally up to you. If I want to do, this is a, a plain index card. So this is quite a porous paper. So I'll show you how to use it on a more porous paper, something that's not as slick. Uh, this is one of the new colors. This is an antique gold. So this is a really lovely antique gold. So this paper is a lot more porous and the water's gonna soak right in. So therefore, the color's not going to move around as much and it's certainly not going to blend as well. And you can see that just as I'm moving around. So if I add another colour to it, and I'm going to use Grab A Guy Gold. I'm still going to get an awesome effect, but it's going to be different to how the watercolour looks and how the plain card looks. Okay, so I can move it around before it soaks in. But yeah, the more porous your cardstock, the different effect that you're going to get. So if you use a really cheap, inexpensive cardstock, then um, it's going to look totally different. Um, all right, what else can we do? So there are also available these little guys. These are the original Lindy's little pots that were available. And how do you use these to do this effect? What I do is I use a dry paintbrush. Um, you can use a fan brush, which I accidentally just tipped in the water. Louise, can you grab me from the 
trolley over there, a brush that looks like that, please. Something like that. There should be a couple floating around in there. Thank you. Yep, that'll do it. Close enough. Um, so you just want a nice dry paintbrush, something that's going to um, pick up the powder out of the pot, but not activate it. So this time I'm just going to, so it's exactly the same product, but this has just got that cap on the top. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of a powder on the end of my paintbrush, and then I'm just gonna run my finger over the top. And what's happening is that it's just falling off and onto the paper. So I'm gonna pop the lid straight back on so I don't accidentally activate it. And now I need to activate that. Like that color is just beautiful. So that is French Lilac Violet. And look, can you see how vibrant and beautiful that is? Alrighty, so that's looking pretty amazing. Um, I don't even wanna add another color to that. I'm just gonna let that dry just like it is because it looks so good. And that's just on plain, normal, everyday cardstock that I make cards with. Um, if I was to use the Bougainvillea Fuchsia, so I love that this is a beautiful fuchsia color and the shimmer is going to be, um, it's got this beautiful undertone of like almost like a blue undertone on this one. So exactly the same thing. I'm just going to use a dry paintbrush and I'm using a little bit too much powder, but you can see I've just collected it on the dry tooth, toothbrush, paintbrush and then sprinkling it on. I can just tap it with my finger, but I need to activate it. I do always make sure that my lid goes straight back on because if you accidentally tip it on the carpet and your cute little bulldog runs through the house, it's not ideal. It stains your carpet. <laughs> and the dog's pretty damn pleased with itself. So that is the Bougainvillea Fuchsia. So you can see all those beautiful pigments coming up through. And I'm going to add some of this gorgeous Bayou Boogie Gold. And as you can tell, there's not much left in that one. I must do like that. So I'm gonna tip that straight in. So I need to activate that beautiful gold over the top. So this weekend on my website, um, I have got all of these at 10% off. The price for the Lindy's will automatically be uh, deducted at the checkout. And we are posting first thing Monday morning. So hopefully Australia Post will be able to get their pants together and get it out to you super soon. Um, I'm just using a wet paintbrush now just to spread that color around the page. So yeah, the Lindy's, the Lindy's products work fantastic. You can really do so much with them, create some beautiful, beautiful backgrounds. Here's that very first one that I did. That's just drying up quite nicely. Um, and you can see that it's got some lovely shimmer to it. And that brown that I did earlier, that's sitting there. And I know the camera doesn't pick it up very much, but there is a gorgeous shimmer to it. Um, so you can mix them with anything at all. So I've been mixing them with water, just straight water out of a water spray bottle. These trigger bottles are available on my website as well. There's some Tim Holtz Distress ones, and I do believe there's a couple of Nuvo ones floating around as well. But they are just, just water straight in. The more water you add to your powder, the more you can activate it and the more the pigment comes ties together and you get this brilliant effect so beautiful for making backgrounds on pages um, beautiful for creating card fronts you can stencil with them you can do lots and lots and lots so you can see on this one where it hasn't been activated as much but it looks pretty amazing this is um, Guten Tag Teal through the middle with Bavarian blue with a little poker purple on the outside. And the black and the brown are probably my two of my favorites. So the black, of course, black isn't a color. So therefore you, um, you get all of these beautiful colors come out and same as the brown. Brown is lots of colors mixed together and you can see how amazing they look. Uh, so yeah, that's, a, that's pretty much it from me today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to flick me a message and ask. There are, like I said, a whole heap of colors in the collection with Lindy's. You can really customize something 
to suit whatever crafting you're doing, card making, scrapbooking, art journaling, anything at all. You're only limited by your imagination. Um, really, it, it's totally up to you. You have to keep trying things and be a little bit brave to come across something that is going to, to, to change the way that you create. So, um, I also have a few other pretty cool things on special. I've got stamps and stencils, 15% off. I have sold out of quite a few of my stencils. I will be doing an order with Stencil Girl in the next day or so. I know lots of people love some of those Stencil Girl ones that I demonstrated with yesterday. Uh, paper pads, uh, all 15% off. I will be doing a demonstration tomorrow on paint pouring, boom gel. It is ridiculously easy and I've got that on special for 20% off. Um, and on Monday, same time Monday, I'm going to show you how to do some colouring with this product and just how easy it is just using whatever stamps that you've got at home. So I hope you're all staying warm and, um, and safe and have a fantastic day and wash your hands. Bye.